Puerto Rico, you want to talk about Puerto Rico? Yeah, so I did message you yesterday actually about this because I saw the headline. There's these protests going on against the governor of Puerto Rico. And the last that I've heard, I put a link to an article at don'tletitgo.com. It's that officials in Puerto Rico have ordered uh, the governor to, uh, oh, and the aides also, not just the governor, but his aides, to hand over phones amid some scandal. So there's been protests against the governor and it has something to do with the phones. Tell us what in the world is going on. So it's it's compl- it, it, two things going on right now and, they, and they, they're being somewhat conflated, but two motivations for the, the demonstration. The demonstrations are massive. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people. Mm-hmm. Over half a million people yesterday marched. They marched right outside my window. Um, mm-hmm. After a lot of the highways, or streets in San Juan were closed yesterday. So I was I was late for at least one meeting uh, yesterday as a consequence. Um, and, and old San Juan is basically shut down. So even the tourist trade is is hurting because cruise ships are not coming because of the demonstrations, uh, because the demonstrations in front of the gav- governor's mansion, which is right in the heart of old city, old city in San Juan, the tourist area in San Juan. So two things happened about two weeks ago, or two or three weeks ago, a number of former executives from this government, the Puerto Rican government, were arrested by the FBI for fraud. So Mm -hmm. they had uh, uh, assigned government contracts to friends and family kind of thing to people in the know. So, And in addition, the CEO of the largest accounting firm in town, the one that I was told I should use when I came here, luckily I didn't listen to anybody, was arrested in the same fraud scandal. So there was all kinds of, so he was cooking the books to make, I guess, some of this possible. And the FBI came in, and these were all former associates of the governor. And, and, and the governor was on vacation in Spain at the time, so he rushed back. And a few days, uh, so there was a lot of stuff saying, well, if these are the people the governor hired, is he fraudulent? You know, and, and everybody's known there's been fraud in Puerto Rico, but this is these are real arrests, and, and the FBI is not involved, so it's a big deal. And 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 a lot of people. A lot of people were arrested, not just these two officials, but the guy from the accounting firm and some other people. And then, um, and then somebody released um, messages that the government had sent had sent on a Telegram. I don't know if you know what Telegram is, but Telegram is a texting application. Mm. Is uh, the most encrypted texting application that's out there. So supposedly. It cannot be broken into, and governments cannot shut it down. So it's the favorite texting application of, of Russian dissidents, Chinese, people mm-hmm. overseas. So I'm on Telegram because I communicate with those people sometimes, and that's the only way they'll communicate. They don't do email. Right. Um, so if you want to hide from the government. So he was, he had, there was a group chat of government officials in Puerto Rico where the governor was on, and they were chatting about different things. And it turns out the first few chat, first uh, uh, revelations where he was making homophobic racial comments Hmm. inappropriate comments about women inappropriate comments about fat people um and then a week later so that was just a few texts here and there a week later they published 850 pages Hmm. of the governor you know making fun of all these people making fun of wow but also people in his own party making fun of uh what's his name uh uh the famous Puerto Rican singer who is, who's, uh, Ricky, is it Ricky? not Ricky Martin? I don't know, whatever. Um, celebrities, just, and, and just childish language. Now, the interesting thing is because it's Telegram, it's not like somebody hacked this. It's one of the people in chat yeah. was saving them mm-hmm. and then printed it all out and handed it to reporters. We don't know who it was, but it was somebody on the chat. Anyway, the island exploded. I mean, uh, it was Ricky Martin. So Ricky Martin came out and said, the governor needs to go. And people in the streets said the governor needs to go. And then they started rallying. And then these massive protests. Now, in the meantime, most of his cabinet has resigned. The number two, like the number two who would take over his position if he resigned, has resigned. So there's actually nobody there to actually take the governor's position. And there's nobody running the government right now because everybody's quit. There's a governor with no cabinet. And no possibility of, no knowledge of who would take over the governorship if he quit. And there are hundreds of thousands of people in the streets demanding that he resign. They're committed to doing this every single night. 
except Sundays. I guess Sundays, the Catholic over here, I think they're taking a day off. But every single day, and Monday, yesterday was a holiday. They, they basically unilaterally, everybody went on strike. So no school, no, the rest, a lot of the restaurants closed, a lot, a lot of businesses closed, and people just went into the streets to demonstrate against the governor. So there's basically a kind of a silent revolution to get rid of this idiot. I mean, I mean, he's an idiot, right? He says he, he, these tweets are stupid. They're juvenile. Uh, somebody who tweets, who, who not texts, tweets, message. Yes, yes. The messages shouldn't be. Sh well, I'm thinking of somebody else's tweets, which shouldn't be. And I was going to say president shouldn't be governor. Um, there's only one guy in the world who can get away with saying these kind of things and gains gains voters. And that's Donald Trump. Nobody else can do it. Uh, you know, if you're going to say homophobic, racist, anti-women, anti-fat, whatever comments on, you know, don't pretend that you can be elected to office unless you're Donald Trump. And I don't think there is another Donald Trump out there. Not yet. Thank God. Um, so, you know, they're demanding he go. And I think they're right. And I think he should resign. Now, to overlay that with the fraud, right? Overlay that with the corruption. Overlay that with the fact that the island has a rotten economic policy, has rotten, you know, you know, is, is just is just devastating economy. It's been a recession for ten years, um, and it's 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 really it's really bad. Now I don't know what that means for me because I don't know if a new government is going to be friendly towards people like me or not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a new government is going to move to the left or to the right or to the center. I don't know what's going to happen. But this guy looks like he's toast unless he wants to hang on in spite of all this. But then there's basically anarchy in the streets. I mean, the cops literally right outside our condo. It's the staging area because I, I live on the one road that goes into old San Juan. Mm -hmm. So everybody goes into old San Juan to where the demonstration now has to pass through here. So the cops have this massive staging area right, you know, between the traffic over here. This is the first road that gets closed. Whenever there's a demonstration, whatever stuff is going on. So I'm right. That, in the that's what I was thinking. You know, that was my question to you yesterday. And the message was, is this affecting you, these demonstrations? So yeah, I mean, yesterday I was sitting wow. here. I could see. And then at 11, 11 o'clock last night, they decided to have a concert. I mean, this is the thing about Puerto Ricans. You got to love Puerto Ricans. I mean, they're great people. <laughs> you know, what the hell? Anything is an excuse for a party, right? You can't let up on an excuse for a party. So we want to impeach the governor. Let's have a party. So last night at 11 o'clock, not far from where I live on the, on the kind of underside of the condo, on the, on the ocean side, the lagoon side, we, we live on, we kind of see the lagoon. You have to come and visit Amy and see this. But we sit on the lagoon. Before it all just goes to hell, I have to come. There's going to be a concert there. And they start, you know, they start blasting. And there were probably about a thousand motorcycles and motorcyclists there. And there was a party going on. And I'm trying to get to sleep. And it's, I, I fell asleep at midnight, but somebody said they went on until 2 a.m., you know, uh, uh, partying. And, wow. you know, this is Puerto Rico. But I, I give them credit for not standing up for it. The people rising up and saying, enough's enough. This guy is a creep. This guy is, a, is, co is probably corrupt. The politicians in Puerto Rico have always been corrupt. We want real change. The tragedy is, and this is the tragedy, is that they don't know what they want. They know what they don't want. Yes. But like everybody, they don't know what they want. And it's the same. Partiers, in, everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same with demonstrations everywhere. We don't want this, but what do we stand for? And, and the fear is that we get somebody worse than this governor as a consequence of it. So anyway, we'll, we'll see. It's, it's kind of interesting being in the midst of it. Uh, somebody says, am I running for governor? No, I mean, part of my big disadvantage for running for governor, other than the ideas that I actually have, that's a huge disadvantage, is that I don't speak Spanish. I actually don't think Puerto Ricans would elect somebody who doesn't speak Spanish. I think if I spoke Spanish well enough to run a campaign, then that the fact that I was American wouldn't be wouldn't hamper my ability to get elected, but my ideas would then. But the fact that I don't speak a word of Spanish, like three words or something, there's no way they're going to elect me. But I have. I haven't had Revital teach you. 
Yeah, we have a child could run and I could, I could, so we have a child, my, my wife could. Oh, no, I would say she could teach you, but yeah, she could run. I mean, my God, she would be better than the governor for sure. Even yeah. though it's not her specialty, she would be still awesome. You know, and, uh, but I have thrown my hat in to advise any future governor who wants. Nobody's taking me seriously as they never do. Um, and um, anyway, that's what's going on in Puerto Rico. It's quite amazing to see people who are willing to go out into the street and demonstrate for what they believe. And uh, it, it, it's, it's inspiring. This governor should resign and resign quickly. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes.